on the genome in the P53 in BRCA. Can you explain that to everyone? Yeah, real quick. So we have genes in our body. We have mechanisms in our body. We have bad cells in our body every day. Our body says, oh, I can kill that, knock it off, you know, shake hands with every cell. You're gone, you're gone, you're a bad cell. There are genes, there are suppressor genes, P53, it's the guardian of our genome. There's another breast cancer gene, BRCA gene. We know that the spike protein binds to the receptors for these genes and can activate them. That is a mechanism of the spike protein. So putting the spike protein in the human body via a, a gene shot that is completely investigational, these are not approved. And to mandate something that's investigational that can bind to cancer promoting I'd, I'd like to just yeah, clarify and take that a step forward. P, what P53 does is it checks your DNA yes. before it replicates, and it makes sure that it's fixed. So P53 is the one tumor suppressor gene that is most uh, tied to cancer because once there's a mutation in P53, the mutation rate just skyrockets, Correct. and you're going to develop enough mutations that that cancer is going to have a much more likelihood of becoming metastatic. Absolutely. So, P53 is the essential tumor suppressor. Now, do we know for sure that um, the spike protein is binding it and inactivating it so that it cannot make sure that your DNA is replicated um, effectively and, and without any errors? No, but that's why we should have tested these for cancer-causing potential before we started giving them to our kids. There are some confirmatory and stuff. Can I, can I, yeah, I'll put it into